When I'm feeling down I can't win For a strong cup of coffee I tune in I'm waking on up To java with Jim And now I know my best day Can begin Yeah Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms. My name is Jim Meyer, a broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm joined by my good buddy, Jim T. Chung, the walk star. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. And we have our friend, Eric Ravenscroft here. Thank you, Eric, for stopping by. We appreciate you being on the show and getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning to be with us. <laughs> Definitely. It's great to be here. Amen. Jim, what, what are you doing? Well, you know what? Right now I am uh, waiting for uh, some information dealing with business because that's what life's all about, right? But Jim, the more important question is what's in your cup today? Well, my this is my coffee and my coffee uh, is a big fan of the Electoral College unless it doesn't get its way and then it will sue. Um, so... <laughs> Eric, thank you for stopping by. Uh, are you drinking anything this morning? Uh, I stick to old fashioned water. Um, okay. Yeah, keep the, uh, especially in Arizona, we got to hydrate. So Absolutely. that's what I'm drinking. Stay hydrated. Jim T. Chong, you're floating above the, the earth there. Um, yeah. Uh, which the connection is pretty darn good for, for somebody that's. Yeah, we got, we got the coffee. See, it's kind of like it's melting in and out. See, that's like magic, right? <laughs> Absolutely. But I got coffee, just plain old black coffee. Okay. So, um, Eric, we we talked to a lot of people who are sick of California. They're saying goodbye to Gavin Newsom and maybe saying hello to Arizona. But can you yep. uh, start by sharing a bit about your background and how uh, you transitioned from financial planning to becoming a leader in the real estate industry? Definitely. Yeah. And uh, so it's, it's been about 10 years. I was one of them in Southern California. I'm, I'm from Ventura County. So I had left about 10 years ago. Uh, I started in the wealth management space around 2007, 2008, which it was a great time to start in that industry. Coincidentally, I started in real estate a year later in 2009. <laughs> so um, I always kind of have been in both industries. Financial planning, I was full time pretty much from 2007 uh, to 2018. Um, throughout my kind of journey in the wealth management space, I realized there was a really large gap between real estate and wealth management and financial planning. Um, so throughout my kind of career, I was always seeking opportunities to bridge that gap, whether it was creating new uh, and innovative, whether it was divisions, processes within the companies that I worked for. Ultimately, that got turned down every single time that I brought it up. So when uh, my wife and I moved to Arizona, we essentially had the idea is, well, let's just start the framework of bridging that gap and establish our own business. So we did that when we moved uh, here to Arizona eight years ago. And essentially fast forward to now, that is something that I offer. I am full-time in real estate, but with my background in financial planning and wealth management, I offer financial planning really as a value add for anyone that, that does have that need. That's amazing. Jim, uh, are you prompted to ask a follow-up question? Yeah, you know, in terms of planning, financial planning, I think I know the answer because I also deal a lot in the financial space there as well. How do you interconnect it to real estate? Maybe obvious to us, but may not be obvious to other people. Yeah, and it, a lot of it depends on each individual situation. I'll, I'll provide a few examples. So most recently, we had uh, actually a client moving from California. They were from uh, actually the Ventura area, and their their needs weren't as complex. So, you know, if looking at a financial plan, it wasn't a full scale financial plan. It was more of a cost comparison analysis is what we did. We looked at the cost of Ventura County of their living, factoring in taxes, factoring in income, down to things that matter like groceries sales tax, income tax, what car registration costs, and then it compared it to what they would have in various states. 
in this example, of course, Arizona. So uh, that is one example where the planning comes into play. I would say the most common really is for those that are either uh, they own their own business and they're transitioning or they're transitioning to that next stage of life, which would be retirement, and they want their dollar to go farther, then it's having kind of a full scale financial plan, a review, walking through uh, you know, step by step on what changes are going to take place. And then, um, you know, depending on their situation, if it's something where they're not uh, you know, investing in certain buckets, they don't have certain uh, vehicles that are working for them. So it, it varies, but I like to say that anyone in any situation, whether you're, you know, right out of college, either starting college, you're in your early career, established career, you're married, you have kids down to, you know, just a working professional and retired, there's always something that anyone can benefit from. That's great. Um, Eric, That's great. you probably uh, made people w want to ask a lot more questions. Uh, <laughs> are you able to come back tomorrow? Absolutely. Awesome. All right.